you've no doubt heard of Bigfoot. Probably the Mothman, too. Maybe you've seen the 1986 classic horror movie The Fly. If you've seen that movie, scientist Seth Brundle builds two teleportation pods, and when he tests it on himself, a visitor comes into the pod with him, and, well, you know what happened. If you didn't, check out the movie. It's awesome. Point being, what if he took those two famous cryptids and melded them together? Well, what you'd end up with is Bat Squatch. A scary, evil, hair-covered humanoid with, on its back, well, bat wings. This strange beast was encountered by a young man on Saturday, April 16th, 1994. The location was southeast of Buckley, Washington State, and from the place of the encounter, he could even see Mount Rainier. Interestingly enough, Mount Rainier has another strange and now famous aerial mystery attached to it. It was over the mountain on June 24th, 1947, that pilot Kenneth Arnold encountered a squadron of large flying vehicles that, when the media got a hold of them, became famously known as flying saucers. But back to this story at hand. The man who became the unfortunate witness to the beast was Brian Canfield. At the time, he was driving his truck to Camp 1, a settlement in the area, which is situated near Lake Kaposkin. All was normal until Canfield's headlights began to fade out. With his lights dimming, his engine was the next to go. His vehicle ended up slowly coasting to a stop at the side of the road. All thoughts of what he should do on a lonely stretch of Washington State Road went totally out of the window, when a strange monstrosity loomed into his view. Canfield could only look out his window, frozen in fear, as a large, dark-colored humanoid descended from the sky. It did so in a curious semi-gliding, semi-flying fashion, finally coming to rest right in front of his vehicle. Canfield was unable to move, such he was that scared. All he could do was grip the steering wheel and stare in terror at the beast before him. It was a scary sight, to say the least. The winged, hair-covered monster was around nine feet in height, as Canfield could now see that the wings spanned the entire road. It was at this point, despite his terror, that Canfield finally got a good look at the creature. Its fur was dark blue, its eyes shone yellow, and its white fangs protruded menacingly from its werewolf-like face. For at least a couple of minutes, both man and monster confronted each other, nearly making any kind of move. That is, until the creature, without warning, flapped its wings powerfully and violently, and took to the skies again. Maybe the creature even had some form of supernatural powers, because when the beast vanished, Canfield's vehicle returned to normal, and both its headlights and engine worked perfectly without a hitch. Canfield raced back to the home he shared with his parents, charged into the house, and told his strange story of what happened. Canfield's father, seeing the terror on his face, realized that it wasn't a prank, he decided that the best thing that they could do would be to get back out there and try to figure things out. Later that day, though, still greatly frightened, but this time accompanied by his mother and a neighbor, Canfield returned to the location of his encounter. He hoped to find something that could provide physical proof for his story's truthfulness, but he found nothing and was unable to do so. Notwithstanding this, his reputation for honesty and his good standing in the community were such that no one acquainted with him had any doubt that he was telling the truth. Even newspaper columnist C.R. Roberts, who interviewed him in the Tacoma News Tribune on the 1st of May, following an earlier article regarding Bat Squatch in that same newspaper on the 24th of April, was convinced of his sincerity. Maybe, luckily for both of them, Bat Squatch the name coined by one of Canfield's friends, was nowhere to be found. And, so far as it can be determined, it has never been seen again. Unless, that is, you know better. If you like what you heard, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and join us next time for another of The Unknown Files here on Unknown Territory.